A three alarm fire destroys a home, leaving a family to pick up the pieces and to mourn the loss of a pet. News 12's Andrew Enger has the story for us from Roslyn. Andrew. Well, there's not much left of this home here on Jefferson Avenue uh, in Roslyn. In fact, we're assuming it will be boarded up relatively soon here. Now, we're less than half a block away from the LIE. We're told that the smoke from this fire could be seen for miles. Now, there was one person inside the house at the time of the fire. That person, we're told, got out okay. However, one dog has been pronounced dead and another is missing and feared dead. Firefighters say the flames were shooting up the side of the house when they arrived at this single family home on Jefferson Avenue in Roslyn at 6 p.m. tonight. The flames moving so fast, it was quickly upgraded to a second, then a third alarm fire. Fire officials say one person was in the home at the time and was able to get out safely. However, a dog died in the fire and another is listed as missing and feared dead. It's awful. We got to just lift them up in prayer. Roslyn, the community, surround yourself around them because uh, they lost the house and dog. 17 departments responded to the fire, which officials say took about 90 minutes to put out. The home, they say, is a complete loss. Firefighters say today's gusty winds contributed to the high volume of fire and spread it quickly. The high winds definitely played a factor, as the chief had stated. Uh, they had some high winds blowing right down this hill. Uh, thankfully, it didn't catch fire to any other structures in the vicinity. Uh, fire department did a great job of holding the fire to the house of origin. Now, that wind was pretty serious here this evening. In fact, it's still windy right now. Uh, and uh, firefighters tell me that luckily the building here is far enough away from other structures here that the wind was not able to blow the fire and catch other nearby structures on fire. So they're very thankful for that. Rosalind, Andrew Anger, News 12, Long Island.